Oh, Hello. Welcome to my channel. The time now is 8.10 a.m. Thursday morning. And my topic is a day about... Um, what's the weather? And what's today's date? The 20... 25th? Yeah, the 25th. Wait, I can't see it. It's a little... Yeah, yeah, it's the 25th. Yeah, the 25th of July. And before I get started, many Machone, water is life. I must give praise to the, to the most high above. Um, how are you doing? Yeah, and so... Okay, right here, you let me out. I have to put this... Sorry. Hi, everybody. Love you guys. Have a great day. Yeah. I want to talk about how Indians are portrayed and how other people come here and think they were in this show and stuff like that. Um, My friend used to work at the Boxwood Casino. Uh, this Apache girl from Arizona. I'm going to show you how people look down on Indians and always calling them, betray them in the movies as uh, bloodthirsty savages. And the real savages came here and slaughtered my ancestors and other nations of people. They was the savages. And and the reason Europeans can kill without mercy when they came here, but there was already murderers in their country. There was already serial killers. And the Queen of England took them out of prison and made soldiers out of them and came to America. They needed those type of people to, so they can um, override this country. Indigenous people of America, they they was the caretakers of the land. You know, they was in charge of taking care of the land and stuff like that. But other people come here, they not in charge of anything. They just take. And so that's what happened. Uh, people trying to wipe the natives from the face of the earth, everybody claiming to be Indian, claimed or, or not claiming what they really are. Half the people saying that they want to get benefits and reparations. Half the people saying that it's not even indigenous people. They from other places. And what get me mad, um, how they treat Indians and portray them in the movie. You don't even have some rural Indians in the movie. They have white people playing as Indians, and they always make John Wayne look like the hero. hero. And every move I saw, and my mother don't like to watch Western because they make everybody think that in the Indians was bad. That's why this little white girl asked me on the bus one day. She said, um, did you murder people? I, I just laughed. I said, look, I know she's been taught that. But sometimes you'd be surprised. School teaches that, too. Public school, they teach that stuff. When I went to school in the 60s, I was a little boy. They were telling people stuff like that. And, uh, you know, but what hurts me so bad, like when my friend would tell me this girl had got raped, an indigenous girl got raped by a poor college student. And they didn't even go to jail and stuff like that because they, you know, rich. To them, too, that's a little Indian girl with no name or nothing. But she had a family, and they drove her to a hospital. The hospital was not even the hospital. They took drove her maybe like an hour and 55, two hours away to an Indian hospital. And when she got there, she had died of shock. And these guys got off easy. They didn't even get no time. They just got all of them got 10 years probation and went round back and became what they wanted to go, go where she was going to college too. She didn't get a chance to live her dream. And that's bad. Like they had sales back in the 1800s, Indian land for sale. And you see the, the commercial, sometimes they show it. They it, um, All the stage folks run to the other side. Whoever get there first to the other side, immigrants, immigrants will get the, the biggest part of the acres. You know, they give out 1,000 acres, 5,000 acres. So the land was getting much smaller for indigenous people. That's why they um, had wars to get rid of them so they can make room for, em for immigrants, their people. Everybody in this country, I don't care what people say, even if you were born here, you're not the original 
America. I don't even, I don't even consider myself an American because I'm not. That's a country named after a foreign damn bastard. And I call myself an American because I'm not. That's an idol. They get rid by title. And I see some African American people get mad when you call them colored. It's better than saying what they've been saying. They want to fight. Don't call me colored no more. I'm black. And I told people the word black does not mean what you think it means. It don't mean black power. Even white people say white power don't mean it don't mean they're, what they, white white people sorry to interject. They're saying it as a as a racist, as a white um what's her name? Power, white like, supremacist. Yeah, they white supremacist. Yeah, they, when they say that they 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 already have power, so why do they need more? Yep. And they, they don't have to emphasize on nothing because they got everything. And um, getting back to what I said, black means pale. And black also means an absent of color. So why would you call yourself absent? That's why I try to tell people, that's why people be talking like that. When they say, God, God, mad with me, jumping all my face. It's the African American lady called me names and stuff like that. First, I got upset, so I ignored her because I see something was wrong with her. And my mother said, when a person attack you like that, they don't know who they are. That's why they're doing it. And it's always, like I said before, it's always a person of color, always attacking you. And people coming from other countries, not even supposed to be here. The white man brought y'all here. He's not white either. Is he, is he the color of paper? My wife called him the rightful thing with they is, euros. That's short for European descent, because they don't belong here either. And um, what I was saying, how Indians are portrayed in movies, uh, as savages, bloodthirsty savages, and the people that came in the one with the bloodthirsty savage. Indian was trying to protect them, preserve the land and their culture. They put them on reservations, which they never was on reservations. So that's why if an Indian see an Indian that wasn't born on reservation. They would think that they know more than that person. He's still an indigenous person. He just wasn't born with a white man put him at. So y'all should know it. They didn't have no reservations until the white people came here. They put you on those reservations so they can control the situation. You had to uh, have a to leave the reservation to go do something just like they did after America. You had to have a card. Like like you be in school, you had to get a pass to go to the bathroom. You have a, a little sheet with the pass on it, like a little wooden thing, a little um, board. That's express permission to travel. The Indian didn't have that, or a, a so-called Black American. They would chill them on the high on the road and leave his body right there for animals to eat, and stuff like that. And uh, so everything is illegal. Even when you buy a house. It's illegal, but the, the house now got deeds to it. That's why I told a girl the most important thing you're supposed to buy the land that the house is standing on, but it's more difficult to get you over. You own the, the, the uh, foundation. Some people don't do that. They buy a house, you could buy cash, you could buy a house for like three or four hundred thousand dollars. You don't own the land underneath of it. They can come there and say, We're going to build a CBS here. You have to move. That's why I know that it, it, um, they would give you money for it. Yeah, they go someplace else. But when you when you buy the, uh, the like it's a big patch of this field with green grass and no house, you buy that land, then uh, it's gonna be difficult to get you off. But deeds and paperwork, all that stuff is illegal. It's like his ass was illegal when he came here. They tell you to go back to their country and. I could do to tell people to go to your country. You wasn't um, the rifle when I hear white supremacy. This is our land. What land you talk about? Y'all come from Europe, from the Caucasus Mountains. That's where the Caucasians come from, the Caucasus Mountains. And that's what I wanted to say to y'all this morning. Um, Trump don't have no compassion for indigenous people that y'all want to be one. But like I told a poor reason, guy, I said, those people that you betrayed, those Indians. Got wiped out way before Columbus uh, came here. Yeah, you mix with some, but probably not. If you do got any data plus, probably a little inch because the Chinese got wiped out. 
That's not their name anyway. Their real name is Ty No. Spanish is a derogatory Spanish word from Spain when they came here. I'm not trying to bustle by bubble hurt people. I'm just trying to put my troop out there. And the way Indians are portrayed in movies sometimes made me cry. And uh, it's just bad. Everybody, you know, came here, they only looking out for their own people. Like when I tried to get a job at um, Kennedy Airport, I went to this place. All they was hiring was Latino because they run in the, that department. And even the Haitian guy told me, they're not going to hire you for what you is. That's mess with you. How you going to come to my country and do that? You couldn't do that in their country. But I went to their country right now in India, kind of in the Middle East, and opened up a store and it's hired Americans. They would kick me out of the country. But everything is illegal. Even your birth certificate is illegal. So if you look up your birth certificate, it's really a stock bond. Don't you see a stock bond look just like your birth certificate? Well, that's, a lot of people have never, seen, have never seen a stock bond. Yeah, so they don't know what to look for. They look the same way, the same color and everything. Well, and you can really, you, you we're all chattel that yeah. are born here. And you can look it up online and see what you work on the market, but you won't get no money for it. They use that, and your Social Security card really is like um, a branding iron, like they brand uh, chattel for slaves. And, and also, they can, um, um, I heard that they can, England, that we owe England a, a big, a huge debt because of the wars we had, and they lent us money. Mm -hmm. And I heard that. At any time, they can make American citizens go over to England mm -hmm. because they they actually still own us. Yep, but you're still not that's free. But if you was free, even your driver's license, that's property of the state. You don't even own the driver's license. You did, you wouldn't have to pay for it. That's why when the cops stopped you, was the first piece of ID asked for your driver's license. But that's his property. He don't care about no registration or um, insurance, because that's another department. But insurance, he cares about that. But mm -hmm. well, he's going to ask you for that driver's license first. He don't, he don't care about it at the minute, because he asked for his own property. Of course, how you figure the state ID is his property? It is. But you, your picture's on it, but if it was free, you wouldn't have to pay for it. Your Social Security card is a branding. Like when they brand slaves or cows, you know, it's a... Uh, but you know, sometimes you they can even tell... If you're an Anglo-Saxon or European or African-American or Latino, you know, if a Latino person have a name like Robert Williams, um, they can tell the zones and the numbers I set up. You got a white person's social security number, it's, it's going to look completely different from yours. That's your slave um, um, papers, that social security card. And your, uh, of course, I didn't know that. Yup. Everything got a, a, a meaning to it. Excuse me. They told me it's the two middle numbers of your social security num card number. It they said if it's odd, that means you're a person of color, mm -hmm. and if it's even, then you're supposed to be European descent. But that could only be what they think, because they put down a lot of times what they want, not not what you put on there. Mm -hmm. They observe so, you. So my tag would be hidden truth behind words. So that's it for now. Um, like, comment, share, and prescribe. Jawish, Sadaa Wato. Have a blessed day. Huh? Many Machoni, Water's Life. Without water, you can't survive nowhere. Because water give you, you can get filled up on water a day if you didn't have no food. And uh, soda can't do that to you. Soda doesn't enhance the thirst. That's it for now. So thank you. I'll talk to y'all later.